Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the video. And today's video is a little more serious. Activision has made the news, and um, no, they haven't revealed COD 2021. Vanguard hasn't been revealed. They haven't been breaking record sales, or they're, they're not causing violence over video games. They're being sued by the state of California for breaking a, a fair ton of sexual harassment laws with their quote-unquote frat boy workplace culture. So this is on NBC, like mainstream news, and I'm going to read a little bit out of their article. Activision Blizzard has a quote-unquote frat boy workplace culture where male employees banter about their sexual encounters, talk openly about female bodies, and joke about rape. According to a lawsuit filed by California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing, or the DHEF. So that's a big yikes. That is absolutely disgusting that they're actually letting this go unresolved. And the fact that, like, okay, in PS4 parties, people joke about this stuff all the time. But in a professional environment, in a, in a environment that has both male and female workers, if you're allowing this to go unresolved, there is a problem here. There is something that needs to be addressed that they're just letting this happen in their own workplace. And along with this, there's also been, like, news uh, about, like, the quote-unquote cube crawls where basically um in the activision blizzard offices male workers will routinely routinely i say uh be under the influence of alcohol they'll be drinking during work hours and they'll be uh they'll be drinking a lot of alcohol and then they'll you know quote-unquote crawl their way around uh the various cubicles and often engage in very inappropriate behavior with the female employees that is a direct quote from the article um, and then the article goes on to say, despite complaints made by the female workers, there is nothing being done to to combat this. And they're just letting it happen, which is absolutely disgusting, honestly. It, it, it's, it's worrying that nothing has actually happened about this. And these female employees are forced to do all the work while these men are like, the, the, the male workers are like, they're taking advantage of them sexually or they're they're making jokes at the, at the expense of the of the female workers they're just being absolute pieces of human degeneracy and it's it's going unanswered which is terribly wrong and there's something that needs to be done about this and the activision blizzard hr team is not doing anything about it which is absolutely gross and on top of this they're they're like it's been known that the gaming industry is not the best place. Workers are often subject to massive hours of crunch work where they're having to work for hours on end, uh, for days on end, um, with very little rest. And on top of that, they're delegating a lot of that work to female employees, not doing anything. And on top of that, they're mis mistreating these employees. It's, it's frankly just disgusting. There's been things that have happened. I'm pretty sure it's led to the suicide of a, of, of, of a worker or or some uh, or some workers, female workers, of the extent that how disgusting it is. You can read other articles where they go into great detail about the the um, the actual details and the specifics of it. But it is it's actually disgusting. If you read it, you'll want to like throw up at how gross it is. I'm not gonna link anything below, but you could probably find it yourself. Which is um, it's not a great experience to be completely honest with you. And on top of that, let's just say I want to make something clear. We should not be directing any of our hate towards Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Raven, Infinity Ward, Beanox, any of these companies that have worked on Call of Duty titles. They're the developer teams. The way that this works is that every every year, Activision is the publisher. They'll publish Call of Duty, they'll fund a lot of it, they'll produce the games. The games will be developed by uh, mostly Treyarch, Sledgehammer, and Infinity Ward, uh, with a lot of help being done by Raven, Beanox, and a lot of these other studios. And from there, they'll, from there, they'll be sold. They are not responsible for this. The people that are perpetrating these actions are Activision Blizzard. It's not Infinity Ward. It's not Treyarch. People should not be treating, tweeting David Vonderhaar or Joe Seacott, calling them human pieces of garbage for what's going on. This is an Activision thing. And people that have been along been like around the scene a while know that the, that the whole industry is shady and Activision's a really shady company people have already hated Activision for years uh, off of what they've done in terms of monetizing the cod games like supply drops every people hated those people already hate the uh, the twenty dollar skins that they're forced to buy or uh, if they want to just get one cosmetic item it's they're they're already really really scummy in their in the way that they try to make money and the way that they just like inflate the game with a bunch of useless mechanics that like that are just there for the sake of money like COD World War Two pistol grips but like 
That's that's like besides the point. And on top of that, when you realize that they're letting all this stuff go by with like literal sexual abuse and and mistreatment of workers being just going unanswered, um, it, it's wrong. And there's something that needs to be done about it, and it needs to be done soon. So thankfully, the state of California, uh, the county of Los Angeles, has filed official an official lawsuit against Activision Blizzard, and they're hopefully going to win in court. I mean, there's no shot that they don't win in court because of the the evidence that they have against uh, the company. There are going to be people going to jail over this, but here's the problem. The higher-ups at Activision Blizzard that have let this happen, they're only going to get a slap on the wrist for this stuff, and they're going to be able to go back to work normally the next day. Nothing bad's going to happen to them. There might be a few people that actually like will have jail time because they've actually perpetrated these actions, but the fact that like people are not going to be like they're going to walk away from this completely unscathed it is absolutely disgusting and uh overall i that's I, that's all i really have to say about it i just think that it's really really gross what's happening in, in activision and honestly i really hope that it's not going to happen but i hope that treyarch uh treyarch and figure boards like all these developers they got bought out by respawn uh they, they and they buy the licensing to they buy the licensing to god to publish it because they do a much better job of handling it and Activision, they're a disgusting company to deal with. They're just really bad at, in terms of human fucking rights. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but like, they, they, they're just a really, really disgusting company. It's like the Nestle of like, game devs. But um, that's really all I had to say. Now for uh, Captain Titan's economic advice. Uh, do yourself a favor. In a month when this Activision law lawsuit has settled and they've lost a shit ton of money, buy a lot of stock and sell it after the release of Vanguard. Your bank account will thank you. So that's really all I need to talk about, guys. It's been Captain Titan. Thank you all for listening. Uh, Activision's absolutely dog shit. Um, there needs to be a lot done to, to actually right this wrong, and not a lot is going to be done about it, unfortunately. And uh, I, my prayers are with the, the people that have been abused by this. Uh, that have let that have been a victim of this system that's been going on in the Activision workplace. So thank you all. It's been Captain Titan, guys. Signing off. <laughs>